leaving the shelter. It was so nice. Uh, there's a shower, but it doesn't work right now. We got the fire pit over there. Clothesline. Pit toilet that has an air freshener. Best smelling privy I've been to so far. Good morning and welcome to day 59 on the AT. My name is Mosey and this is Rissa Romes. Rolling out partnership shelter. We hung around a little bit longer uh, to use the bathrooms at the visitor center once it opened. Um, ordered way too much food last night. Packing out almost a whole pizza today, but that's good. I have food. Um, slept better last night than the night before. I did wake up once itching, but put on some more cortisone and actually fell back asleep instead of laying awake for hours itching. So that's a huge improvement. Um, Achilles is better today than yesterday. Not perfect, but better. We are hiking on to Atkins. Um, I'm going to be staying at the Long Neck Lair tonight. Um, I am going to see if there's the possibility of going to a clinic or something. Have them look at my bites, see if I can get something stronger to try and knock this out because uh, itching for two weeks is really miserable and I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, my new friends are going home. They are done with their trip today, but I did ask them to give me a ride to the long neck layer so I don't have to walk point four uh, to get there. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, staying our goodbyes, sad to leave them because I really enjoyed hiking with them this week. But yeah, we'll find new people for what we do out here. All I gotta say, Virginia ain't flat, y'all. It's not bad. But every now and then, you get a steep one. Short, but steep. Whew. So this morning for breakfast, I had my last kind bar and leftover garlic knots, which made a great breakfast. Um, the only like snack or lunch I have for today is pizza. I've been hungry for a minute, but eating pizza while walking uphill does not sound like a good time. So we've got less than a mile. So we're done climbing and I'm so excited to eat that pizza and then walk downhill for many miles. <laughs> Crusty Crab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Oh, so excited to eat this. Yeah, I had to stop and pull out that piece of pizza and eat it on the trail. Um, we're planning on stopping at uh, the 1890 farm for lunch. It's about three miles from here. Um, so got a little ways to go, needed something to tie me over. Um, the farm wasn't on my radar at all, probably wouldn't have even went, um, but we were sitting there on a break earlier this morning and Purple was like, everyone's cool to stop there, right? He said it was one of his favorite little side quests, um, he took on his through hike, so we're gonna check it out. Don't really know what to expect, but, um, comments on Far Out say it's worth the walk so and I don't think it's very far or very strenuous of a walk so yeah I like being happy yeah I do too <laughs> I like being happy it's very I know <laughs>
I'm sitting on that swing. Just going to have a very real moment here. Uh, had a bit of an emotional breakdown a second ago on the trail. Um, I'm still not good at hiking my own hike, clearly. Um, I've been hanging out, you know, with purple and pony boy and grace this week and I really have enjoyed that um, and so today is my last day with them and I decided to continue hiking with them but uh, you know they're it's their last day so they're taking their time and they're enjoying it normally when I go into town I like to get in early so I can get everything done and I'm gonna be getting in at like five o'clock. I was hoping to go to a clinic and get checked out for the bug bites, resupply, shower, laundry, YouTube. <laughs> and I'm just not gonna have enough time to do it all. <laughs> and I was hiking and I realized that my bandana that I use as a sweat rag, snot rag, was missing. Someone said they saw it not far back on the trail. And it's not even that I care, you know, about the rag. I just uh, hated leaving something behind on the trail. Uh, so I went back to look for it, and I couldn't find it. And that's more time wasted. So yeah, I'm just kind of stressed. Dinner time! <laughs> oh, it touched you. <laughs> it's, you it's, it's like the gray cat is like, you can't pet me, but I can pet you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> so it ended up being a really good night. Um, I had gotten stressed for nothing. Um, surprise, surprise. Uh, I didn't get to go to a clinic, uh, and I really did hope to do that. And I think that was part of why I was stressed is I knew that that wasn't going to happen. Cindy at the long neck layer ended up giving me some calamine lotion. Uh, and then, um, Michael came and brought the shoes that I was going to try. He was able to take me into town so I could get something to eat and resupply. Um, so all of that worked out. And then I decided to do a Nero, which uh, everyone I talked to was saying like how much it means that I called a 10 mile day a Nero. Um, I did 10 miles to the quarter way in and tented there the next day, which you'll see, just so I could get some YouTube stuff done. So all the chores got done. I had a good night. Um, I was happy to hang out with the alpacas. Um, so things are good. Um, once again, got stressed for nothing, and I'm happy that I had that last day with uh, Purple Pony Boy and Grace. Um, love you guys, and uh, if you're watching, miss you, and hope you're doing well. <laughs>